Hey guys, welcome to Yoga with Coops, welcome to my home. We're going to go through a practice today that's really going to help you to switch off that mind, to be in the moment and just to get the whole body moving. I love yoga practice at home because it just lets me become free and so sharing it with you guys on YouTube has been so lovely to receive your feedback. So today's going to be an extended practice, about 25 minutes. Lots of people have been viewing the stretch and flow for stress relief. So I'm going to do a 25 minute flow on just letting things flow and, and feeling open in, in your practice. So let's get started. Let's start laying down on the mat and arriving. And so laying down to some people can be bending into the knees if that feels right for you or using your pillow if that doesn't feel too good laying down place the pillow on your lower back and just take some time resting there closing off the eyes and listening to your inner your inner your inner breath as you inhale through the nose feel the lungs expand and release exhale out through the mouth Inhaling through the nose, feeling the lungs expand and then start to open the mouth, exhale. And slowly bring the hands to the rib cage and place them at the bottom of the rib cage. Feel the ribs, feel the bones, give them a good jiggle around and go towards the bottom of the rib cage. And along here we have attached a diaphragm muscle. It's like a big jellyfish. I've talked about it before and that is the seat of our, our body, the seat of our breath. And that is where our breathing apparatus starts. And it fills the whole entire body if used properly. And so let's start to use that properly. Place the hands there under your ribs. So just find it, push your bottom underneath your bottom rib. And take a breath in, feeling the diaphragm expand and exhale feeling the diaphragm start to deflate inhaling and exhale all the way down to the pit of the tummy and close off the eyes and start to close the mouth and bring the tongue to the roof of the mouth okay it may feel a little bit restricted at first Start to inhale through the nose, closing the mouth, tongue to the roof of the mouth, and exhale out through the nose. Inhaling through the nose, and exhale out through the nose. Inhaling, two, three, Four. Exhaling. Two. Three. Four. Inhaling. Two. Three. Four. Exhaling. Two. Three. Four. Inhale. Two. Three. Four. Five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Letting the breath flow, letting the breath be fluid and not holding back any breath. So start to imagine that you're really squeezing this breath out of the body and then allowing the breath to come in, the oxygen in, receiving good energy and filling every part of the body. Great. And bringing the soles of the feet onto the mats, bending into the knees, open the arms up nice and wide and just let the knees melt from right to left. I'm going to remove the pillow now and so let the knees melt from right to left. It's a really nice way to wake up the spine. stretch the left leg in the air, bring your right knee in towards you and then grab hold of your right foot, bring it onto 
the left thigh like a little ledge. And then use your arms, stretch them up, bring them out in front of you, and loop hold of your left thigh. Pull the thigh towards you, but roll the shoulders back. Let the toes point towards your nose of that left foot. Holding here, and what this is doing is starting to stretch into the left leg muscles, but we're also starting now to stretch into this right hip. So using this right hand, push the right thigh away from the body. Feel the stretch. And slowly release that left foot down. Right leg up into the air, nice breath in. Exhale, lower the foot down. Great, inhale, lifting it up. And exhale it down towards the mat. Just before it gets to the mat, hold it there. And then sweep it back in towards the sit bone. Allow the foot to rest. And ready for that right leg to stretch into the air. Left foot, let's bring it over towards the right thigh. Hook it over like a little ledge. And then bring the hands through to grab the thigh. Great, roll the shoulders back, feel openness here. So nothing's hunching like this. Okay, roll it back, soften down. Point the toes towards your nose. And just start to activate this right leg. Focus on that first. And then using your left hand, push against the thigh, not the knee. Okay, push against the thigh. So the knee, it's got all those protective ligaments in, really bony part of your leg. Let's push onto a little bit of meat. So push the fascia tissue away from the body. Great, hold here. Slowly release the right leg down and bend into the left knee, place the foot onto the mat, hold here, inhale, great, exhale it up, all the way, and then lower it down, good, bringing it back up, and options here, your right leg can lay flat or you can bend into the knee, whatever feels right in your body, and sweeping both knees in towards you, give them a little rock and roll, and start to roll on the spine, backwards and forwards, until we come to all fours. Great. Finding that energy now, that wake up. So feeling that openness in your, your legs. Start to rock into the hips. <clears throat> Roll the shoulders back, find length in your arms. So push the arms away from the mat. Locking in your fingertips. Right leg shoots out, right hip down. Good. Hold there, inhale. Exhale, bring that right foot all the way over towards the left side of the mat and sweep up, inhale. One breath here, exhale back down. Extend the back leg out, straighten up those leg muscles, stretch out, nice big breath in. And then ready to push the weight into the right hand, fly the left hand out. So we're gonna shoot it out, hold it. Nice big breath in. Great, bend into the knee, bend into the elbow, bring it in. And exhale, shoot it out. One more, bring it in. And shoot it all the way out. Place the hand down, sweep that right foot back over towards the left, left arm, right arm up, left arm nice and strong, hips away from the mat. Sweep down, all the way. One more, left leg all the way, right leg, sorry, all the way out. And left arm's floating out, nice breath in. Pull the band out, your, your energy band up, and Udiana band up, pull it up towards your spine, inhale. And then bring the knee in towards the elbow, exhale. Shoot the foot and the arm out all the way. Plant the hand down, sweep this right foot over. And then we're gonna take full plank. So once we're here, lift the left knee away from the mat, and step the left foot towards the right, lift up, inhaling, hold here, exhale, maybe take variation, and bring that right foot forward. So once you're there, it may take a little while, so let's go back to that high plank, all the way, lift up, right leg, up into the air, and step it forward, a few breaths, step it forward a little bit more, good, hold that nice big breath in, exhale, drop the knee down, sweep the hands up into the air, lovely, low, Low clarison, inhale, exhale, float the hands down. Sweep this right foot up into three-legged dog. Take two big breaths, inhale through the nose, release the shoulders back. And exhale, plant the foot down. Great. 
lower the knees all the way down. Awesome, roll the shoulders back. Left leg shoots out. Hip comes down towards the mat. So instead of it flying up, let the left outer edge hip float down. Good. Spread the fingertips wide. Sweep the right, le right hand out. Nice breath in. And exhale. Bring the elbow towards the knee. Inhale. Shoot out. And start to place the right hand down. And the left foot comes behind you. Lift up. Shoot it up. Hello. All the way up. One breath in and exhale it back down. Leg pops back out, good. Right hand floats out, nice breath in. And exhale, elbow to knee, arch the spine. Shooting out, place the hand down. Left foot comes back out again, lifting up. Stretch up, lift the hip away from the mat, then bring it back down again. Good, straight, stretch the leg all the way out. Awesome. And then start to bring the left foot all the way back over and take your full plank. Once you're here, take your time, find your foundation, lift this hip away from the mat. I'm ready for this left foot to lift up and then shoot it out towards the front of the mat. Once you're there, let's take an inhale, lift the chest, wide lizard, exhale, drop the knee and sweep up. Nice breath in and exhale, shoot the hands down. Sweep the foot back into three-legged dog. Soften into your shoulders. And exhale, release the foot down. Soften, soften those shoulders and roll them back. Roll them up towards the sit bones. And bend into the knees. Good, let's step the right foot forward. Back foot stays where it is, rise the arms up slightly and forward. Release the shoulders back. Nice breath in, breathe the core in. Great, hold here. I just sweep the arms all the way down and shoot them up. Open up those shoulders. Nice breath in and exhale them forward. All the way down. Squeeze into that back thigh, lifting up. Great, hold in here. Let's feel that openness and squeeze into that left glute. One more, shooting forward and exhaling, sweeping up all the way, stay with me, and ready to sweep the hands down, left hand stays on the mat, right hand comes up, twiddle those right toes towards the outer edge of the mat, and come onto the outer edge of the left foot, side plank modified, hold in here, staying here two breaths, or taking the full plank, all the way, nice big breath in, and exhale, release the hand down, come into down dog, great, And so now we're building this heat in the body and starting to open up all the areas of the body. Stay with it, stay with it. Ready for that left foot to plant forward, back heel lifts, rise the arms up and forward. Inhale, lift the chest, shoot the hands forward. Exhale, bring them all the way down and sweep them up. Open up, really beautiful open posture. And then sweep forward and shoot down, knee goes over the heel, sweeping up, good, find that lift up, one more, all the way, and up, all the way, shoot it up, hold there, feel strong, feel proud, right hand, let's bring all the way down, left arm stays up, your right foot, come on the outer edge of it, left foot, wiggle the toes halfway into the mat, and toes face the side, good, lift up, inhale, squeeze your pelvic bone together, and then maybe this left foot stays there, or sweep it to the side, Woo. or bring it behind you. Great, lifting, finding that stretch, and exhale, into down dog. Good, bend into the knees, and shake those hips, shake that booty. Good, let's take a bend in those knees, gaze forward, as we inhale, exhale, loosen the neck muscles. I'm ready to bend again into those knees, and jump to the top of the mat, great, inhale, halfway, exhale, float the hands down, push them into the mat, so this push into the mat, if your legs don't want to stay straight, bend the knees, but let's just start pushing some weight into those fingertips, so lift the heels, take the gaze forward, and exhale, great, inhale, lifting the heels, and take the heels back, Great stuff. Playing with 
of openness in the practice and a little bit of play <laughs> makes Coops happy. <laughs> and then ready to bend into those knees. So take in chair pose, take your foot alignment, either feet together, big toes together, or feet hip width apart, or right in your body, squeeze the thighs inwards. Nice breath in, exhale, shoot the hands down. One more inhale to halfway. Hands either on the mat, on the shins, on the thighs. Breathe the core in, feel the openness of your chest. Great, exhale all the way down. Thighs, squeeze them in, inhale to Ukatasana, chair pose, exhale, sink down. Great. Let's take the weight forward slightly into the balls of the feet and lift that left foot forward. Then the right, shoot it out, little ninja chops here. Powerful poses. All the way, great. Squeeze the thighs and find that you're booting yourself into this bank holiday weekend. Good. Slowly release down. Pushing into the mat. Push the weight into the fingertips. Lift the heels. Great. And then slowly peel that left foot back. Then the right. Let's take high plank. Sort my pyjamas out. Wiggle the elbows up and the shoulders back. Squeeze the glutes together. Nice breath in. Exhale, lower down. Find that ledge. Hold here. Two breaths. Good. Roll the shoulders back. Squeeze the bum muscles down. And sweep up. Whether that is your cobra or your upward dog, wiggle your shoulders. Find that openness. Good. Maybe you lift your feet up. Take a couple of breaths before you ping the, the sit bones back. Lift into down dog. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Use your Ujjayi breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the nose. Bend into the knees. Gaze okay, forward. Walking or jumping to the top of the mat, you decide. But roll the shoulders back. Inhale halfway. Open the arms up nice and wide either side. Exhale, float the hands down. Bring the hands out in front of you, spread them wide. Let's find some play. And so we're gonna take crow pose. Get these props just in case you wanna use them. But crow pose can be practiced anywhere, okay? And it's a balance, it's an inversion for your body. Don't worry about getting into the full flow, but spread the fingertips nice and wide and create this ledge with your elbow and your tricep. So the ledge is here, okay? And so my shin is going to place on my ledge. Okay, kind of like crow's feet. Spread the hands, walk the feet in, and start to create that ledge. And so finding that ledge for some people can be really challenging. And so a recommendation is to widen the ledge up and bring your insides of your thighs to the ledge. Okay? And work on the balance there of floating forward lifting the heels, pushing your fingertips like little claws into the mat and playing with rocking backwards and forwards. Release the shoulders back. Great. Breathe the tummy muscles in and just practice. Once you're leaning forward, maybe lifting, sweeping a foot back, placing it back down. So picturing like a paintbrush is on your big toe, and you're painting the line back, <laughs> taking it back, pointing into the toe, then pushing it back down. Great, ready to go into full crow. And so lifting the feet away from the mat, gaze is slightly forward, pointing into the toes, point into them, and yes, you are gonna get some bruises on those triceps, and slowly back down. Loose enough, good. Let's try that one more time. And so maybe using the block to push into your ankles, your heels, okay? So using that as your lift, as your guide, as your trust. Face the fear of your, your face is a block away from the mat. So even just resting like that is not very far. So stay with me, okay? And finding that lift, first of all. So using the sponge or a book, to find that lift before you start practicing the fly up, okay? And so using what you've got around you as your supports, 
and going into your crow, lifting up and then slowly release, loosen the arms, take a couple of breaths, ready to lift halfway, inhale, half fold, exhale, forward fold, take the left foot, shoot it out all the way, push the heel back, inhale, and exhale it back, inhale, shoot the right foot out, and exhale, bring it in. Ready to lift the arms above the head, hands on opposite elbows, inhale, and open up, exhale, great, wiggle into the arms, loosen up, come to the top of the mat, open the arms up nice and wide, bring the body, Urdhva Hastasana, exhale all the way down, Uttanasana, inhale, lift up, lift the arms, find that halfway, Adha Uttanasana, and then exhale, push the feet back to high plank, holding here, we're going to take low plank, roll the shoulders back, inhale, exhale, bend into those elbows, so place the forearms down if that feels too much, and then exhale up, inhale, find that lift, wiggle into the shoulders, right foot, let's ping it all the way back over the left, and take a stretch, inhale, and exhale it over, over to the other side, Woo, that's my radiator, and back over. Let's take a little child's pose. Rest in there. And just listening to your body, your breath, <coughs> and the openness of your practice. And trying some new challenges in your practice today. And just, just acknowledging how incredible your body is what it holds and maybe it's holding some really bad tension right now that you need to let go of and that is why yoga is super powerful for the body and the mind maybe it's holding on to some of that just doesn't want to be there anymore you know coming to the mat in your home practice is a really good way to to remind yourself to give yourself positive energy kindness and love and so use this practice this sequence to challenge your body challenge your mind and to feel open be open to new things maybe the crow is something for some people that has been a challenge that's okay we're on a journey and let's just enjoy being in that moment Let's come back up onto all fours and go over the wrists, take a couple of breaths just to warm and look after those wrist muscles. Great. Roll the shoulders back away from the neck, tuck the toes under and lift those hips up into your down dog. Great. Roll the shoulders back. Right foot's coming forward, back foot grounds 45 degrees, bend into your knee, rise up, warrior one, inhaling. Let's lift the arms up, spread the fingertips wide and bend into the elbows, taking cactus pose. Good, holding here, great, and then start to take the elbows round towards the right. So we keep the knees facing the front, good, twist into the rest of the body and exhale, back to the center, inhaling over towards the right, holding here. Great, and then lifting the arms up when they're back at the center, crossing them over, surrendering, feeling that openness, and exhale, shoot them forward. Holding here, inhale, lifting up. Good, stay with me, right thigh engage, exhale, shooting forward. Nice long spine, rise up all the way. And then ready to shoot forward, release the hands out in front of you. Bend into that right knee and shoot into your warrior three. Wherever you are today, find that power. Right leg drives down, back heel back. Shoot the hands down, bring that left foot in. Wiggle into those hips. Rise up, inhaling. All the way, exhale, foot down. Inhale, halfway. 
Great, exhale, float those feet back, high plank, holding here. Inhale, and then exhale, low plank. Nice, powerful move on the arms, good. And then sweep up, inhaling. And exhale to your down dog. Hips lift, sit bones lift. Walk out on the spot or find that stretch. Or maybe even find turbo dog. Bend the elbows down towards the mat. Take the gaze forward and lift up. Turbo power, lower down. And lift, great. Woo. And ready for that left foot to fly forward. Rise up, sweep the arms up. Warrior one, all the way up. Holding here and exhale, bend into those elbows. Squeeze your right glute in, good. And take the hands over towards the right. Nice plain line here. Nice big breath in. And shoot the hands back towards the front. Over to the left, good, open up. Twist into the ribs and shoot back. Awesome, inhale, cross the arms over. Exhale, hold here. Nice breath in and exhale, shoot forward. Two more of these, inhale up. Find the energy, breathe the core in and exhale, stay with me. Loosen the neck muscles, one more. Start to prepare for warrior three. So lift the back foot up, squeeze into your big toe, and find that extension in the spine. All the way, shoot out that back heel, ground into the left leg, and float the hands down, right foot in. Peel the heels away from the mat, wiggle into the hips. Great, and then slowly, gracefully, let's lay down, open up those hips, and have a little wiggle. Good. And just feeling super powerful of what your body can hold onto and also how open your body can be. So let's enjoy the openness of the yoga practice. Push the soles of the feet into the mat. Windscreen wiper these knees right to left. And let the feet just float and glide towards your Shavasana until you lay completely and rest. Close the eyes, soften the body and soften your breath and find your rhythm as you inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Softening the tissues and the body. Namaste, guys.